back at uh, Virgin Falls Wilderness Reserve for a late spring solo overnighter. I plan to stay on the Overlook campsite tonight. Um, I'm about a mile in, stopping for a quick break, and just wanted to show something with you. I don't know if you can really tell or not, but here behind me you see all this nice green foliage. Well, apparently there's been a fire or something here lately, because if you look at the other side of the trail, the vegetation is missing. Now, I don't know if this is a lightning strike or a careless campfire or if it's just a controlled burn because you can see on this side of the trail, no leaves. You go over here, on this side of the trail, there's an overabundance of leaves and green stuff. So, who knows? Um, we'll see how far this goes in. I'll talk to you later. Made it to the lookout. It's pretty nice, huh? Um, took me about two hours, including uh, one just rest break and then my lunch break. So, made really good time. Um, unfortunately, it's pretty wet around here, so I doubt building a fire this evening is going to be an option. Uh, I've been scouting the area here, trying to find a good place to pitch my hammock. Um, hopefully, I can get... Uh, as close to this as possible and have a nice view uh, from my hammock so um, I'll get back with you in a bit. Give me a little bit to find a suitable place to pitch my tent. I mean my hammock, not my tent. I didn't bring my tent. Anyway, you'd be surprised how difficult it is to find two suitable trees the appropriate distance apart and the appropriate diameter because too small won't hold your weight too big my straps won't go around too far apart i have to hang really high too close together i have to hang really low so you see it's kind of a trade-off anyway um i finally have my hammock set up and it's gonna give you a look um what you will see is i have it in porch mode currently which is open up the sides to allow a nice little breeze to come through if it were to rain, which is not in the forecast, but if it is, what you do is you take the sides here and you lower them down, stake them lower on the ground there to where, you know, you've got more of a A-frame. Right here it's a little, uh, like, spaceship looking. Um, so, it's been a uh, pretty good day so far. I passed two day hikers on the way in haven't seen anyone else since um, considering it's a random Wednesday night you know in May um, I doubt that there will be anyone and that is just fine with me so probably just gonna piddle around for a little while see if there is possibly any dry wood to be found for a fire later this evening and then um, get ready to cook chow in a bit Okay. Well, now I have some wood processed and I'm ready for a fire. Uh, I'm going to wait a while till dark though. Um, kids, when you're out in the woods, that is what not to do. All kinds of junk. I had to clear it out of the fire pit here. Show you here. I've got a little wooden teepee going down there with a little hole dug right there. And what's going to go in that hole is... This little can that I've filled up with uh, shavings to serve as my kindling. Then I'll move all of that on top of this, get it going. Um, put this big log on here just to get it started burning as early as possible. But um, over here, you know, I've got some smaller stuff broke up. And we get progressively larger and then. If I really need it, which I think all this is going to be enough for the couple hours that I need, if I really need it, there's a big one right there. So, um, yeah, I'm about ready for a fire. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is get ready and uh, make some chow real soon. Sounds like a good idea. What's for dinner, you ask? Well, it's Santa Fe style rice with chicken. I think that's going to be really good. It's got a uh, Mexican green chili, chicken, and cheese served over rice. Looked like it had a little corn and stuff in it too. Sounds great. Um, 
for those of you that remember last time, uh, well, maybe you don't remember because I haven't uploaded the video yet, but the last camping trip I used my stove and I had a lot of trouble with the wind, so I've cured that now. Got a little windscreen there, set this pot in place, and voila, we are cooking. Now, in case you're wondering about my kitchen table here, um, it comes with quite the view. Yeah, so uh, I can't think of a really a, a better place to, you know, have a bite of supper than amongst these rocks. Country, you must prepare and conserve resources, and oftentimes many things will serve as double duty. I'm taking tonight's dinner as an example. Um, I have to use fuel to burn the stove to boil the water. Um, that might seem simple enough, but you know, you only have the water that you can pack in with you and also the fuel, of course. Um, the reason I'm explaining this to you is, is because when I cook my supper, I'm also going to add a little extra water to boil and warm because, you know, don't want to be firing up the stove and wasting unnecessary fuel. What I'm going to do with that excess water, because my meal takes uh, 13 minutes to cook, um, after I add the water, what I have here, in case you can't tell, which I'm sure you can't, is um, some hot cocoa mix and some coffee grounds. So I'm about to have me some uh, chocolate coffee while I wait for my dinner to cook. Sounds good, huh? Well, I've boiled my water and supper is cooking right there in that bag. That's right. All you have to do is boil the water throw it in the bag with the dry ingredients and let it set for about 13 minutes. Um, as previously discussed, while I wait, I am enjoying some chocolate coffee. It's pretty yummy. Um, and yeah, I got quite a view to be sitting here enjoying my chocolate coffee goodness. I have eaten Night is falling, the sun has set, the moon is on its way to setting. Um, I've probably got about 20 minutes of usable daylight left. Um, fire's ready to go, I think, provided that the wood will actually burn. And then I'll entertain myself with a fire for a little while before turning in for the night. I'll walk you over to the campsite. Well, it's gotten dark back here in the woods. You can't really see my campsite, but you can see my reflective guy lines, which are pretty awesome, I must say. Um, in here is where I be sleeping. Um, here's my get up there. Um, it's about all you can see from inside here, really. I, uh, Mm. Darker still. Well, it's about nine o'clock. The fire's still going. Now let me tell you, the stars out here are something to behold. Um I mean, even through the tree canopy, I can see them very clearly. It's quite amazing. Uh, just enjoying the night. Well, good morning. It's about 5.30. Um, I slept pretty good. I slept really good. Um, I'm going to get up and get some coffee going and... Just enjoy a really nice morning out here in the woods and get a nice view of the sunset. We'll show you soon. I think I said sunset. I mean sunrise, obviously. Sunrise. Starting to come up now. Have a look at that this morning.
Okay, morning has fully broken, I guess you would say. Um, it's about 7 o'clock. I've got about half my gear packed up. I'm going to hit the trail a little bit early this morning. Uh, get on back to civilization. So, it's been a great trip.